Good evening, folks. It's Diamond with the Oppenheimer Ranch Project bringing you a Grand Solar Minimum Update Wednesday, March 6th, 1 a.m. Mountain Time 2019. <laughs> Look at this European GFS model. And let's just pause it. Let's just walk you through what's going on here. Oh, my gosh. In the next few days, there's going to be some snow hitting the northern UK. And that same snow is going to then pummel Norway. But look what happens as we get into mid-March. It is going to get colder and bolder and colder and smolder. By March 16th, most of Europe, most of the high mountainous areas, all of UK, over 90%, including all of Ireland and Norway, 40% of Norway will be under a meter of snow in just 10 days according to the models keep calm it is boom time new cmip data suggests an extended period of solar decline which is looking fine well actually it's looking cold as cold as it was back in the centennial minimum for the rest of your lives and why did that pop up proper prior planning prevents piss poor performance here's a picture march 1st in Northern Maine, where two white boys are hawking it. And they barely have to put the snow off the roof because it's hitting the snow. That's what seven feet on a roof looks like. And that's tonight's first boom. Buckle your seatbelts. It is boom time. And you're booming. What you're looking at here is the goes X-ray flux one minute. And you can see it started picking up a little bit. And I was wondering what was going on here. And then I just checked the data and then BOOM! Brand new sunspot 2734. Al Gore's a bore. Look at that baby. Now we were watching the plague turn around the limb with some activity on it. But that plague is not a sunspot. 2734 came out of nowhere like swimwear or snowwear or some other type of wear now if you want to look at this you got to go to solarham.net and when you get to the home page you're going to see two little suns up in the top left this one is the one we just looked at the magnetogram come over to sunspots right and, and click on the one we just looked at you're going to get the big, fat, sunny sun, the coronal hole map, if you want, or the sunspot map, visible sunspot regions. Click on the sunspot. You'll get a little blue square, and you'll go right there. And we can see sunspot 2734, AR 12734, beta CRO, C-spot percentage 5%, M flare 1, X1. Whew. There it is. This baby came out of nowhere. And there's a blue spot over here in the yellow region mixing positive to negative. So we're going to be watching this develop quickly. Hopefully it will not do damage to the grid. But this baby came out of nowhere. Already in the B range. 100 plus year coal record broken for second day. Snow expected overnight. Kennewick, Washington. The Tri-Cities set a record for cold weather for a second day in a row Tuesday. Temperatures were expected to warm some overnight as yet another snowstorm was forecast for the area. 
it is getting scarier in that area. Winter storm warnings issued for central New York. Old ladies pulling carts, people scraping shit, and that's guys blowing it. Ho, ho, ho in it. Lake effect winter storm covers upstate New York in pork. I hope you're not Muslim. Winter storm warnings have been issued for several central New York counties as heavy lake effect snows and strong winds could make driving difficult to impossible. Holy sh... How much snow will you get in upstate New York? Lake effect storm map coming up. Strong winds pushing Arctic air will blow from the west. That blows. In southwest tonight through Thursday generating heavy lake effect snow. Ho, ho, ho. Look at these colors. Holy, what the is going on, man? Am I on the right channel? Ow! Did you put something in my drink? That's awesome, man. Thank you. Syracuse, New York, Central New York, other pink colors. It looks gay out there, but it's in fact tons of snow. That's 24 inches right there. Total snow, 14.9. There's snow everywhere. Western New York will get less snow because of Lake Erie is almost completely covered in ice, but that's nice. The worst of the snow will begin on Tug Hill in Central New York, which will get lake effect from Lake Ontario, and it will be scary out. Look at that. Up to 24 inches predicted in some areas. Come check these maps out. I don't even know how they work. So I'm going to get rid of this because it's really tripping me out. Winter Storm Watch issued heavy snow possible Wednesday night into Thursday. The southern portion of South Dakota. Hot Springs, south of Rapid City. Winter Storm Watch issued 4 to 6 inches of snow. Locally higher amounts possible. There are your totals. Pockets of six plus. Fill your pockets with global warming goodness. Do it now. Weather, outlook, spring getting closer on the calendar, but that doesn't mean. And Puxatawney Phil's a liar because another winter storm is approaching for Wisconsin. There it is. It's coming right in there. Like swimwear. Heads up, weekend. You're ruined. And the maps show it. Don't even blow it. What is that? What's happening? Oh my God. Did I take enough? Is that just about enough? National Weather Service. Another winter storm heading for Sierra Lake Tahoe Basin. Are you kidding me? Snow possible in Reno Sparks. More winter weather is expected to impact the region this week. Starting midday Tuesday, lasting through the rest of your life said Diamond and the National Weather Service in Reno. Mono County, south of the Tahoe Basin, is expected to be tasting it with the brunt of the weather. Central Sierra and Tahoe Basin are likely to see one to two feet of additional snow. Ho, ho, ho. What the fuck? Can they even handle that? Maximum wind gusts of 112 miles an hour? The f is this the planet we live on? It's so high, they're above the electrical lines in Truckee. They're going to have a hell of whitewater season. Lake Superior may freeze over this month. I wonder if that's where hell is. Is that up there? Cedar Rapids, Iowa. Lake Superior, the largest of all of the lakes. All of them, according to this article, may freeze over this season. Oh, just when you thought the global warming was going to save you. <laughs> Hell is freezing over. <gasps> Ow! GFS models. It's not looking good. Let's pause it. <laughs> Walk you through it. Next 24 hours, heavy snow in western Colorado, Utah, Nevada, everywhere else in the northwest. Moving into the Sierras. The southern Sierra is going to be the big winner for dinner. Big winter chicken dinner. Snow event moves through Iowa, Nebraska, South Dakota, St. Ain't Soda, the Midwest. Secondary storm moving a slight blizzard up through there. And then another blizzard. And then March 14th, you're... 
And then, holy sh Boom! That's a... That's crazy. And then in Europe, you're buried. If you're in Norway, you better be making igloos for a living or selling snow shovels. Holy sh... What happened to Al Gore and the IPCC? Oh, yeah. They don't use science. They're just D-bags. I forgot. Seismic update. 5.8 in Bouvet. But that is not the most significant quake of note. 3.4, 9 kilometers east, north, east of Maynardville, Tennessee. Can you see? The new Madrid awakens. We've been calling this 5.1 Bouvet Island, Alaska. 5.7 Hinat Puan, Philippines. But this baby. And a couple more up here in Yellowstone making people shart themselves. Holy macaroni. 3.4, 9 kilometers east, northeast of Maynardville, Tennessee. You and I can see. Look at this quake up here. 4.1 in Poland. Holy sh. Where's the kielbasa? Do they even. Is that even from there? Worldwide volcano news update. Ducono, volcanic ash to 7,000 feet. Popo, Ducono, reventador, plancho, petanoa, sabacaya, manam. It is my, not my fault. Plancho, petaroa, volcanic ash in the last 24 hours to 15,000 feet. That's three miles. Ducono, continuous volcanic ash. Popo, pumping it up to 19,000 feet. Do you know how many feet that is? That's 1,000 shy of 20,000 feet. That's like, and I like feet. I'm a foot guy. It's just really trippy. Well, actually, I like socks. I like really trippy socks. Links below. Are you a patron of whatever just popped up here? I have no idea what we're about to look at. It's not even supposed to be in the show. Who did that? Ow! Get your hole! Hmm. I just need to come now. Wow. Of course we use an ad blocker. <laughs> what planet are you on? 3.4 magnitude earthquake strikes Maynardville. We covered it. Now, are they covering it? Parts of East Tennessee felt the Holy first move this afternoon. The U.S. Geological Survey says a 3.4 magnitude earthquake shook parts of our area. The epicenter was recorded almost 10 miles below the surface, just northeast of Maynardville. We did speak to employees at Oki's Pharmacy in Maynardville. They described the moment the quake rumbled through that area. Rumbled through that area. We thought it was a dumpster in the back, and then we just uh, heard all the bottles rattling, and um, <laughs> I walked out to the back, and my pharmacist said that her back fat jiggled. We thought a car hit our building here at <laughs> Channel 10. People reported feeling that quake as far north as Kentucky and east as Nashville, Asheville, North Carolina, and more than 1,600 people reported feeling it. That was pretty cool. That was cool. That, that's like a rare thing. They're getting jingled. But when the jangle comes, the jangle of the dangle will be their angle. The global warming apocalypse that didn't happen. Are you ready? The Arctic Ocean is warming up. Icebergs are growing scarcer. And in some places, the seals are finding the water too hot. Reports from fishermen, seal hunters, and explorers all point to radical change in climatic conditions and hitherto unheard of temperatures in the Arctic zone. <coughs> Bear with me. Exploration expeditions report that scarcely any ice has been met as far north as 81 degrees 29 minutes. Within a few years, it is predicted that due to the ice melt, the sea will rise and make most coastal cities uninhabitable. Now, this quote is from an Associated Press report published in the Washington Post on November 2nd, 1922. Now, the Washington Post is the only newspaper I can't access for my daily show. 
because I have to pay for it. Are you picking it up? I just put it all over you. I put it all down there. Now, a lot of people think this is bullshit, but even the biggest bullshit shark fact-checking group Snopes says that this article is true. Check mark. And that's a boom. That's the first Snopes thing I ever wanted to show you that was real. <laughs> Isn't that fucked up? Like when you can use the enemy against you, you're using them against you to prove your point. The very point you're proving is being printed below you by YouTube. As we get demonetized and subscribership gets stripped from us. We used to get 3,000 subscribers a month. We now get barely 500. It's not because people don't want to know. It's because they're not letting you know. And they're not letting you know because if you knew, well... Then the micro horizon would take over the matrix. And then, and then we would break it. And then the matrix would be broken. Because the sun is not a nuclear reactor. It is in fact a ferrite sphere floating in a sea of the universe. Eternal. Connected by a Birkeland current through Orion. Which pulsates every 12,000 600 years in a catastrophic event which micronovas in our solar system. Did I get off? What, what happened? Hello! Heirloom seeds, your best source for heirloom vegetables and flowers and herbs. Now, one of our subscribers' husbands God, what is his name? Scott Taylor grew some 14 inch in spinach and I was supposed to put it up on the site here but I don't have it holy sh I don't even know what's going on he got his seeds from heirloom seeds we'll show those pictures tomorrow night if I can remember to get them up here but now I'm on Gmail I gotta get I don't even know what's going on sabotage Let's get back to the facts. Where are we? Heirloom seeds. Your best source for heirloom vegetables, flowers, and herbs. Did you? Did I? Let me go back there. It might be right there. Heirloom seeds, garden trivia, and much other, other things. The only thing you want from here is the seeds. They're two bucks. Brandywine blend. Awesome. If you live zones, shit, four through 13, get these this came out of Pennsylvania one of the first tomatoes ever grown in North America so you know it's land race if you live there picklers pride cucumbers short short day look at that two bucks do it black magic kale certified organic for two dollars I might have to I might have to spend three four hundred dollars here in just a moment I'm not even aware of. Let's reopen that one again. What's going on over here? Why is my inbox open? Holy sh Copyright! People have been stealing our work and it's crazy how that happens. Why would they steal our stuff? If you just email me and ask me to use it, guess what I'll say? Yes! But if you just take it, are you kidding me? <laughs> Technology makes it easy to find out if you steal it. Hey, do you know about our page, Solar Shutdown? You do now. It's on Facebook. Where every graph and chart I ever publish on any of my videos, they're right here. You come over here and you click on Photos. And you have them all. You have every chart. You have the CMI P6. Even the ones I noodle with and put arrows on. It's amazing. You go all the way back to the beginning. The beginning of time. Since I started posting graphs. Whenever that was. That was a while ago. Did you get your seeds yet from heirloomseeds.com? 
<coughs> fracking linked to increased hospitalizations for skin, genital, and urinary issues. Well, kiss my ass and scratch my balls. That sounds... You know why I left PA? Oh, my God. Holy... That, what, is that... Did they say genitals and... What the... Oh, what the frack is going on? Genital and urinary issues in Pennsylvania. Whew. Man, did I bite the bullet on that one. Holy sh... Did the Can we make this bigger? Can we do that? Doesn't do anything. It always stays the same. Holy sh... I hate when that I hate it when that happens. <clears throat> a colder side of global warming. A speech and slide presentation on science, which is very rare these days. You have links to the HTML here, the website. Now Tom Weissmuller lectures on global warming worldwide. You pay him a couple bucks and he'll come to your event. And he will stick his right up the IPC's ass. And he recently gave a uh, talk. You all have this card in your packet. So my contact information is on there. I'm not going to spend any more time on it. Uh, <clears throat> we have a world here. It's your world. But it's kind of been taken away by Al Gore and the IPCC. Now, how did they take it away? Well, they told you sea level was going to rise. In fact... This is the specter that you're getting. This is Heidi Cullum's book, Weather of the Future. This will never happen. Not in anybody's lifetime in this room or anybody anywhere else. Uh, but it does sell books. And that's one of the problems. Uh, we're being sold a bill of goods. This is the... Let me go back in the past. From the mouths uh, of babes. I just published this before this video on our channel. So if you want to know more about the sea level fraud and the fear-mongering from the IPCC <coughs> and the mainstream about global warming, please check out this video. I'm going to be posting four more talks over the coming days from this symposia. So please come check it out and don't miss out. Do it now. They already have the global warming nonsense below the video. And all of the scientific data-driven videos that I've ever published. This global warming crap is published below it. I mean, it is literally like we live in Nazi Germany. Now, if you don't know about the Grand Solar Minimum's crazy Canuck, you do now. Give them a thumbs up and watch. If you want to learn how to hatch eggs, hatch them up, up here. and do it down for part. Christ's sake. And of course, this is the top part. And the part that I bought this year is an automatic egg turner. I'm going to do things one handed, not working so well. There we go. Nice little notch here for the, for the cord. So that'll sit down there real nice. All the eggs go into here, but first, before we put any eggs in it, we are going to get it all set up, plug it in. Man, if you haven't heard of the Grand Solar Minimum's crazy Canuck, he is filled with so much practical knowledge on how to survive and thrive in the future. This guy's been living in minus 30 degrees for his whole life. So, if you're not checking them out, you're wasting your time. You're wasting your time. What the f is that? That's hot. The sun is floating through the universe. We're just a cog in the wheel of the solar system. Now this system moves around the Milky Way, but it is affected 
by a wave of plasma. As above, so below. We rise and fall in the ebbs and flows of this cycle. More energy, less energy, more energy, less energy, more energy, less energy. Every 400 years, every 1,000 years, every 12,000 years, 100,000 years, there is a layering. The cycles meet. They clash. They conflict. They cancel out. They come back. But they never, ever stop. Ever. Like Groundhog Day. You have done this again and again and again and again. And you will continue to do it. Will you accept it? Will you become it? That is the question. Guys, I hope you got something out of the video. If you did mushrooms, whew, I know you did. Proper prior planning prevents piss poor performance. Check out our store, Al Gore's a whore. This channel is never a bore. And when I used to drink alcohol, I used to snore. But that has ended. The solar situation is the situation that you are preparing for. Keep calm. It's boom time. Be safe, everyone. We love you.